Hi, welcome to the tech blog. And in this video, we will demonstrate miscall replication between two miscall servers. Miscall replication is a process that allows you to easily maintain multiple copies of a miscall data by having them copied automatically from a master to a slave database. For miscall replication, we need two miscall servers. Here we use two Ubuntu 16.04 identical server. Now I'm gonna log into both servers. One is server A, with IP, 10.0.50.54. And another is server B, with IP, 10.0.50.55 Now first things are first, update your package list, by type apt update and then hit the enter key. Here I'm updating both of my servers, using apt update command. Now go to the server A, and install miscall server, by using apd install miscall dash server. Similarly, install miscall server on server B. Now miscall asks for root password. Enter the password and again confirm the password, and hit the enter key. Do the same for server B. After completion of installation, open and edit omiscall config file. And do the following changes. First, change your bind address, and set your server IP. In my case, it is, 10.0.50.54. After that uncomment, the lion server ID and set it 1. After that uncomment the lion log bin. Press Ctrl plus X then Y for save and exit. Now restart the miscall server. For this type, service miscall restart. Now log into miscall console. Here you see the default databases. Now I create a user named, replica, which is identified by the IP, of server B which in my case, 10.0.50.55. And set your password for replica. After that grant all replication privilege, for the following user. Mm -hmm. 
Now show your master status by using show master status. Oops, it's spelling mistake. Now copy the master status for future use. Open a notepad and paste it. This data will be needed at the time of configuring slave. Now exit from this call console and dump all databases. Though it all default databases, use the following command to dump the database. Here you see data dumping is completed, now upload this dump to server be using, a cp command which is secure and copy. Oops, I made a mistake, there should be a colon. Now check temp directory on server B, the file is moved. Now open and edit miscall config file of server B and do the following changes. First, change your bind address and set your server IP. In my case, it is 10.0.50.55. After that uncomment the line, server ID and set it to. After that uncomment the line, log in. Press CTRL plus X then Y for save and exit. Now restart the miscall server. For this type service miscall restart. Now import the DP dump file to miscall. Now log into miscall console. Here you see the default databases. Now stop the slave and configure it for its master database. For this, do the following. First set your master host. Then set your master user. Then set your password for the user. Here we need the master log file, and master log position, which we saved earlier. Oops, again I mistake a coma, you can also pre-type the command, and paste it. Don't forget to change, your credentials. Now start you slave. 
and see the status. If everything is okay, then you should go ahead and do the test. At this moment you can see, both the server have the same structure, and same databases. Now go to server A, and create a database. I'm creating a database named MyDB. After creating the database at server A you should see its reflection at server B. And here we see the result it works. Great job. Similarly, you create tables, and insert data into tables on server A, and it will be reflected at server B. Presently you are in one-way mode. Whichever updated in server A, will be reflected at server B but, whichever updated at server B, are not reflecting at server A. Do the test. For master master configuration, see the link of our blog at description. Open our blog, and scroll down little bit, here you will see the extended setup, the master master configuration. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.